Hello there friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy here and we are going to make a scrapbook page today documenting these photos of my very dear friend and I when she came to visit and we went to this darling little place where you could book tea parties. So I have already pre-cut these photos and I am following a sketch from one of the close to my heart, make it from your heart books. And so I liked this sketch and I didn't know if I was going to do this one where the three by four photos are at the bottom and then the two by two photos at the top or you could also do it vice versa. So we'll see how it goes um, as I get going. But I thought that these photos, they're kind of pastel-y. So I thought maybe I could use the rest of my Memory Lane collection. So I did end up buying a second pack of this paper pack, um, the pattern paper and the sticker sheet because I love it so much. I've used it on so many different things. I had to get another pack. So these are the papers I have left. I do have scraps left, but I do have one each of all of the amazing patterns that come in this collection. The day of this filming, this collection is still available. Um, it, it retires on August 31st. So I did think that perhaps maybe some of these might go with these photos. But then I did pull in my Daisy Daisy collection, which uh, was a special back in May and it sold out very quickly. And what made me think of this was the sketch here, they use Daisy Daisy. And I loved this pattern right here. So I thought that this pattern might, I might be able to sneak that pattern in with some of these papers. So I don't know, we'll see. The other uh, things that I pulled out, of course, was some stamp sets with teacups. So we have that Cozy Up scrapbooking set. There is a teapot here and there's also a teacup. So even though this is part of a fall collection, that teapot and teacup could be used for lots of different things. And I also have this one, it's my cup of tea. This is long since retired. It was from a long time ago. Uh, but we have a thin cut and it's, a larger thin cut. So I thought I might maybe be able to use that. I loved that little tea bag too. And I do have the Memory Lane stamp set. I might be able to incorporate some hearts. I also have this stamp set. It's called Pretty Posies. And this one goes so well with Memory Lane because we've got a lot of the uh, dots included or dashes included in the sentiments. So I don't know, it has friend in there and that kind of just gave me a tea party vibe. So I don't know, I have lots of things to decide from. The sticker sheet, of course, lends itself great for tea parties. And the place where the tea party took place was all pink and flowery. And so we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and clear my desk and we'll get started. All right, so I pulled my Verzimat in and keeping with the sketch in the idea book, they used a floral pattern for the base page. So I have brought in my floral pattern from the Memory Lane collection. And then the instructions in the sketch say to cut 12 by 12 sheets of paper diagonally. So because these are 12 by 12 sheets of paper, um, they're too big to cut diagonally on the trimmer. So I just folded them in half and then I 
um, use my scissors to cut them. They don't line up perfectly, but I think that's gonna be okay because what we are then going to do is add a white daisy base, and this is 10 by 10, and I cut all of this per the instructions on the, um, on the sketch. And then it calls for a, I believe this was nine and a half, yep, yeah, nine and a half by nine and a half. So this is that piece from the Daisy Daisy collection. Now it looks a little bit busy. I would have never thought to pair Daisy Daisy with the Memory Lane, but I really like it because when I put my photos up on it, I think it really accents very nicely. So I did mat the photo of the two of us, and I actually think maybe, um, I think that will work. Um, according to the sketch, it kind of goes like this. And this one goes in like that. And then maybe what I'll do is adhere the middle picture with um, with foam tape. Um, I need my spatula is what I need. And then we could have these coming up here. like this maybe and do the bottom pick the bigger pictures at the bottom i tend to put bigger pictures at the bottom because they seem to be heavier uh, the bigger things at the bottom but even in this sketch it looked perfectly fine with the big pictures at the top but i kind of like this and i like the pictures not being matted. The, the, I like just the one picture being matted. I don't think it gets too busy um, not having them matted. I really like that. And then maybe what we can do is add our journaling here, whether I do it with a tag or I do have... I already have one of those teapots already stamped and and cut. Maybe I can include that somewhere in there. Um, but I'm thinking it needs something fun for the journaling and we'll do some clusters. So what I think I'll do is I'll get all this adhered and then we can start having fun with the embellishments. Alrighty, I have my pictures laid out. I did end up matting all three of the three by four uh, photos and I matted them with linen, the light side of the linen cardstock. I thought that little contrast because the majority of this paper is white and then we have the white daisy. I really like how that looked. And then I left these photos matte free. The other thing I did is I switched the six two by two photos over to the left side because I went ahead and used the thin cut from this retired set and I stamped the cup and the saucer and I went ahead and stamped it in sage and I thought I would put this right here maybe on an angle um, so that it's anchored onto that photo mat so it doesn't look like it's just floating in thin air and then and so I switched the photos to the left side because of the handle on the teacup. I thought that was more pleasing to the eye. And then I was really excited. I pulled out the all-purpose tags. These are still available. They're all different shapes. 
and a lot of them have that stitching which we love so much so i went ahead and cut a tag out of white daisy i used this tag right here it kind of reminded me of a tea bag and i also cut it from the pattern paper that matched this but i thought that was too much of the same so i cut it in white daisy and maybe what I'll do is sponge around it with the sage ink and then I could make a pocket so that the um, the journaling can pop out of here because there's really not a whole lot to say and I grab some of my twine so that's not really the right color but we could do the yellow and I had this in my stash this also is really old so we could do yellow because that would bring in the honey butter let's see what this pink would look like um I don't know maybe we should stick with the pink Let's see, let's try both. We will audition both of them. So let's just put this. Um, I don't know, maybe it doesn't really, maybe I'm making a bigger issue. I think I'm gonna go with the pink because there's pink in the tree. Okay, so I cut a little piece of twine, and what I like to do is just double it up, and then I will bring it through the hole, and then I bring those two ends up like this. Now, is that the way a tea bag string is? Not necessarily, but then that can stick in there like that, and we can trim this. And another trick that I like to do is you can use a piercing tool or you can use your scissors and I just like to separate the little strings and kind of fray them out. It just kind of gives it more of a personality like this. Maybe a little bit more. You gotta be careful because these scissors are very, very sharp. Yes, I have cut myself on them. But what I love about these scissors is they do come with the guard. And these are the black, um, I guess we'll call the black end scissors. And these are the non-stick. And then we also have some that are silver and they are just regular scissors. But the non-stick, you can cut stickers with them and shimmer trim anything that has stickiness to it to be honest with you i always just get the the non-stick and then i have different ones for ribbon and different ones for paper and i just love them as does my entire family they all are always looking for these scissors and i have multiples in every room in the house so that i think will go there and um, then I can do my little bit of journaling. So what we have to do, I'm gonna move this out of the way, is we need to figure out how, I think I want it to sit like that. And so I'm gonna get the, um, normally I'd like to use the thicker foam tape. So we're gonna use the thin width, but the thicker. And I am going to cut some pieces just around this. So I'm gonna put this right here like that. So that serves kind of like as a stopping point for this. And then put one right here. So this will kind of keep it on track for lack of a better word. I don't know, we're experimenting here. And then let's make sure that that's not gonna stick. No, I think that 
that slides in and out pretty easily. So I am gonna add some more right here, just so that the teacup doesn't dent in once it's in an album. And we will put some around the handle. Now, one thing I've learned, if you take this backing off of the tape, it's more pliable so I can kind of round this around. It's not as easy to shape if you have that backing on it. And we'll do one more little piece up at the top. And I'm gonna take this backing off and kind of angle this. Like that. Okay, so then we can take the rest of the backing off and we'll see how this works out. We'll bring our layout back in. And I am going to, I'm gonna put that right like that so it, it kinda has an anchor. And then we can put our little tab, and there we go. Did I not? I forgot to put the, take the backing off of that. There we go, I like that. So I can add my journaling to that. And then I did pull out the sticker sheet and I like this sticker with the flower and because there's flowers on the teapot I thought maybe I would put that right there at first I thought about the images that are in that teacup set you're so fancy I thought was cute and I thought I'm glad we're friends would be cute but then I saw this and I thought that this matched the tea set so We'll go ahead and put that right there. And then um, we'll see about maybe adding, I don't know if I need some embellishments, maybe some sparkles or something. Okay, I've got my journaling down and I think I'm gonna pull in my sage ink and just take my sponge and just lightly add just a little bit of ink to paper around the tag. I probably should have done that before I added the twine, but we can make it work. It's just a little subtle and I think that that, yeah, I like that. And then I thought maybe I would, I pulled out my melon dots. Now melon is our color of the year, but it is retiring on Thursday. So in just two days from when this was being filmed. And I'm just gonna put that heart right there. I don't know, do you think I should put one on the other side? I love these little hearts. I love these dots, actually, I should say. I love that we get three different sizes, we get three different shapes, and with the color of the year, you get them all in the same color, but we also sell them in, um, packs like this. So this is considered the tail pack, but you can see you get three different colors. So this will stick right in here. And I really think that I like the, the, the simplicity of this. I think this came out really good. All right, so here is the finished layout. I'm really excited about the little tea bag pull out for the journaling. And I 
I'm excited that I was able to create another layout using this memory lane paper collection. If you enjoyed this video and could give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.